Hey everyone, today I want to talk about something I'm very excited to talk about. Um, recently, I've been kind of wanting to, you know, reward myself and get something nice, you know, get something nice for yourself, as they always say. And uh, I actually was looking on eBay, and, you know, I've been really obsessed lately with, um, I guess, like, getting an old uh, Lenovo ThinkPad uh, laptop. And, you know, I finally, you know, I caved in, I coughed up the... 80 or so dollars and I got a uh, pretty much a refurbished um, ThinkPad X220 um, in almost like I would say optimal condition um, as you can see there's a little um, you know scrapes and dings here and there you know nothing too major uh, but it's overall in very good condition let me put this down here but essentially you know um, ThinkPads right if you're familiar with them you know they're great great um, laptops and you know they're very durable and they last a long time and what's really nice is if you take a look they have all these ports serial port display port uh, USB I'm pretty sure there's SD card slot or something on the side there and there's also Ethernet jack I'm pretty sure this is where hard disks would go and also another I think a USB and then I think SD is actually over here um, but essentially you know I got this refurbished with a basically the specs are as follows um, it's an Intel Core i5 it's got four cores um, also eight gigs of RAM and uh, 256 or I think it's 256 256 gigabyte, excuse me, SSD, which is really nice because it makes everything, you know, very smooth. As you can see, I have HTOP running here. I'm sorry, I'm not screen recording. I wanted to show off the actual hardware, but, you know, ThinkPad, it's it's very, you know, it, it was exciting for me so far because this keyboard right here, it really brought me back to, like, my childhood, I guess, you know, with the little, um, I don't even know what they call it, like, mouse, keyboard mouse thing here. You can see um, where I'm kind of just using this. And this this little feature, man, when I put my finger on that and used it for the first time, it really felt like a blast, you know, from my childhood. And, you know, I had to do it, you know, basically. When I installed um, Linux on here, you know, because I came with Windows, but I took it off, I had to do it. And I did install Arch, you know, on here. So I'm using Arch, by the way, essentially. But, you know, I installed Arch, you know, like all the stereotypes. And honestly, it's been really fun so far, you know. It's really great to, um, you know, take a older piece of hardware that someone's, you know, taking their time and within the profession. I mean, I could have fixed it too, but I kind of wanted to buy something that was already there. And, you know, really be able to bring this back to life and appreciate how, you know, tech was back in the day. You know, basically like the durability and just like the feel. Um, and also, like pretty much you know the I guess I don't want to say this but like the common sense um, that used to be a part of tech I know nowadays when you have a computer it's everything there's barely any ports on it you have to get a million adapters and they're all sold separately and they cost a bunch of money but it's really great to be able to go back in time and really see you know this kind of computer that has all the ports a very nice you know keyboard that's not very flat has the additional mouse track button also the little indicator buttons buttons up here um, at the top, you know, for Wi-Fi, internet, or Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and, like, your, um, being, uh, rights being issued to the disc, um, but, yeah, overall, like, you know, go out there and try to buy old ThinkPad. I bought an X220, because it's one of the more, I think, popular older models, and it's worked really great, um, you know, it was so much fun, you know, getting out of the box, like, booting it up, and even going into the BIOS, and checking out that as well, because it's usually an, an older BIOS, unless you're using, like, a Libre boot or some other newer BIOS, which you can do, but, you know, honestly, like, you know, I miss the old days, and when PCs were like this, or especially laptops, you know, because this just feels, like, good, um, feels solid, and it's there, and, you know, I had to do it, had to install Arch, I'm not trying to be cliche, but it was actually, the whole reason why I bought this was I wanted to have, uh, something to do with put arch on that wasn't my main uh, pc because you know i do a bunch of other things like right now i got open sense i don't know if you can see it open sense right there on my firewall but yeah essentially that's just want to talk about this today you know exciting things coming maybe i'll make a arch how-to video but yeah i wanted to show you guys the th great thinkpad i bought and i encourage you guys to get one too if you're able to it's very cool i know there's a lot of meme culture on it but it's a very good feeling and very cool to get your hands on but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um and i'll see you guys later peace